Okay, so while it's running, I will show you how I set this up in FreeCAD. I have my pawn object, which uh, um, I scaled to fit within the stock that I've got. And I've got a, mac a couple of macros here. Uh, and the first one, when I run it, takes the pawn and creates a plane shape like this, uh, limited by the, the uh, uh, Z distance of the, the part and the uh, X distance, and then it just creates the plane. And then it uh, does the offsetting on the plane using the line uh, offset method. And that produces a shape like, like this. Let me turn off the... So it's a set of wires like that, which can then be turned into uh, a path for the roughing step. I have a similar um, macro that I run that does the finishing contour. And again, it produces the shape like this and then just generates the outside wire. And then uh, uh, th that'll give us the smooth finish. And then I um, generate a path from that. Now, none of this is actually in the uh, path workbench yet. It's just uh, macros that I've got. And so I export these two paths and take the G code into an editor. And I did some uh, work by hand to paste it together and to get the tool changes right. But at that point, I can load it into uh, Linux CNC and actually run it. Uh, these lines that you see here and here uh, are a couple of uh, additional commands that I hand coded to do the uh, 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 parting moves. This one cuts off the part at the end and this one uh, basically does a, a party move at the beginning to make sure that the our touch-off point is the top of the part. And that's all there is to it. see that it's still basically it went around on the inside and it's now finishing the outside of that that wire again this is a code that needs to be optimized but it was just cutting air change chess set. 